pickup. Um, I requested to get it between 11 and 12, but they texted me at 8.30. It was ready, so I went down there. So my husband requested the little Brock's pumpkins. I got him the candy corn last week, but then he says, I like the pumpkins too. So I figured, you know, once a year he gets them, that's fine. Um, picked up two big packs of sharp cheddar cheese. Those will go right into the freezer. And I got, I told you yesterday, I'm going to start doing, go back to like regular stuff and just really watch because I don't want to, I guess the fat free or low fat or whatever isn't that good for you. So, and I had a lot of that kind of stuff this week. So maybe that's why I'm up. Who knows? And then I got this blend um, for tonight for our taco soup. These Fritos are also for our taco soup. It's just, you put a little garnish on top of them. It's not a lot or anything. And the boys will eat them when we're done with our soup. I needed some more. I did get the light sour cream. So I got that. I don't know so much if light is as bad as like fat free. So I just got light. I got this for my boys for their lunch as they, or to snack on. They love that hot cheese. And then they had shredded um, pepper jack. So I put that in, but they didn't have it. So they substituted this for it. So I was fine with that. I can grate it myself. I needed mustard and my glorious, glorious, glorious find. I couldn't be more happier. I ordered six and they only had five in stock. I'm like, I will take them. So I got five. <laughs> um, I had them in my cart last week and they were there. And then by the time I picked up at the end of the week, they were gone. So that's another reason why I kind of did my pickup today. Before all this COVID started, I used to do my grocery shopping on Tuesday mornings. I loved it. There was nobody out. So I don't know. I might go back to the Tuesday. But anyway, I got five, so I'm good for a while. Okay, these crack me up. So I saw Kim from A Girl on Her Phone. She got the Knorr um, beef, beef bullion and, or chicken bullion, whatever one. So I was like, oh, and... People are saying that's hard to find now. So I'm like, oh my God, here we go again, another item. So I thought, you know what? I'll put them in my cart. I thought they were like the size Kim had, which was smaller. Look at these suckers. <laughs> we're gonna be eating soup for a long time. These are two pounds each. And I got two, cause they were only like $5. So I figured, oh, it's it's probably, you know, like the, the medium one. <laughs> They're huge. So I got two chicken and I got two of the beef. <laughs> so I'm just cracking up with myself. So then I ran over to the Dollar Tree and I'll be back okay, to show so you So here is my little Dollar Tree haul. We have a, uh, we probably have the tiniest Dollar Tree in the world, really close to our house. So they never have much. So I thought I would try there this morning since it was just about nine o'clock. I knew they were going to open. So I got some of these. I have some different kind upstairs, but I've been looking for this. I like the way those look. And I have the everything to go with it, like the marker, the pen, chalk, whatever. So I finally found those. I like those ones. Um, I see everybody's getting these little cubes, so I got them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'll see what everybody else does and probably copy what they do. Um, they also have these little dowel rods. Um, these come in handy for a lot of things, so I picked up a pack of those. This wash, fold, dry, repeat. When we redo our laundry room i might make a little sign for down there i always pick up some of these when i'm there they didn't have the big ones but i have big ones so i picked up a couple small ones picked up a couple more of these because i like these and i'll probably use them for something now um i got these i want to make a wreath for my back door and i think i might put some bulbs on it or ornaments whatever you call them and then I found this. They had a lot of ribbon. None of it was too cute, but I thought that was cute, so I got it. I don't know what I'll use it for. I got this I might use for my wreath. And then I found all of these. I got more of the white. I got a couple before, but I got, it's tulle. I got white. I got some, I got this. They had um, decorative, like with snowflakes and stuff. And then they had this. I thought was real pretty too. So I got that. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I got them. Then I finally found this stuff for my wreaths. Um, I might use some of this with some of this for my candy cane um, thing I want to put on my door and make. And then I got this one for my, the wreath I want to make. Wasn't crazy about that green, but that's all they had. So I got it. 
And then I got these two to put on the wreath I'm gonna make. I picked up some double-sided tape just to have. I picked up these just to have. I don't know if I'll do anything with them. Eventually I will. I got these for my son. I'll bring them up front. He likes to put these in his um, train layout. So I got him um, Christmas tree lights. He puts them on his houses in there. Some Santa faces and some candy canes. Um, so I thought those were cute. Now these I got for the little girls for their Halloween bags I'm making. So I got those. I only picked up one of these. I wish I would have grabbed another one. So I will sometime before Halloween. And I got this to put um, with our Halloween um, um, tube. Because I, I have an idea of what we're going to do. Because we're going to have the tube going down the driveway. Our driveway goes downhill. So it should work out perfect. And then I want to put this like um, put stakes in our yard on either side of the driveway and then run this so that nobody comes up our driveway and they just know to put their bag at the end of the uh, tube and they'll get their treat. So I thought I'd pick that up and that was everything. So that's my, from my little Dollar Tree, they actually had stuff today. I was so excited. So that is it. I'll be back to show you my breakfast because it's 20 to 10 and I'm starving. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. Here is my breakfast. So I had four pieces of Canadian bacon left in the pack, so I just cooked them up. I put it in the tracker. Four pieces is still one point. At least that's what my tracker said. So I put in for four pieces and said one point. Zero points for the scrambled eggs, three points for the bagel, one point for the butter. So this is my five point breakfast, ice water, sun is shining. I'll be back to tell you about my weigh in, but I need to eat because I am hungry. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> it is Tuesday morning and um, I got my kid all ready this morning, got him on. We're just using personal hotspot right now. I don't know what else to do. So when we use that, it doesn't go out. So we're doing that. We are, I, I went, you'll see my grocery haul probably before this because I, I, I like to keep my day in order. So I went to I actually had it for pickup between 10 or 11 and 12, but they texted me at 8.30, it was ready. So I'm like, okay, I'll go get it now. So I went down and got that because this Walmart's not very far from our house. And then I was like, but, so by the time I got, I, I wanted to finish my morning routine first before I left. So I finished that. And then, so I got down there at like 10 to 9. So I got it and I thought, you know, it's almost 9 o'clock. I'm going to hit the little Dollar Tree by my house. We have the smallest Dollar Tree in the world, that, and um, they never have much. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm just going to check and see if they have any Christmas stuff out, what's going on. So I, as soon as I got that, a girl was unlocking the door. I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> I was the first one in, went right to all the stuff, and I found quite a few things that, you know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with some of it, but it's good to have on hand when you want to do stuff. So I did find some good finds. I need to... Um, I want to make another wreath for Christmas for one door because I'm going to make the candy cane for one door and I'm going to make a wreath for my back door. And um, I need um, I need another wreath holder. So I'll, I'll have to go to another Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I want that. And I think I'm going to get it. I, I might make my mom one of those candy canes for her front door too for Christmas. We'll see. We'll see how mine turns out first. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> And then I came home, I, I got, so I, you saw my groceries. I'm still laughing over those, that beef bouillon. <laughs> oh, my husband was to see that on the shelf and be like, who are you buying for? Uh, <clears throat> I'll use it though. We, I make soup all the time. I make all kinds of stuff all the time. I am thinking today, I'm, I'm making this taco soup for, um, for dinner the pioneer woman made it Saturday on her show and it looked so good and it was so simple. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if, maybe I'll show you me making it. I'll have to put the points in, but it can't be much. It's just, now she used two pounds of hamburger. I will not use that. I just use one pound for us, but it's just hamburger. If she used veggie stock or broth, whatever, I'll, <laughs> I'll use beef since I have enough. Um, and then she put in a can of like fire roasted corn. I don't have fire roasted. I just have regular corn. So I'll put that in and I'll put in, she had black beans. I'll put that in 
And then I think there was like onion. Um, and then uh, I'm not sure what, oh, taco, taco, um, whatchamacallit, the taco seasoning, I guess. And we made our homemade taco seasoning over the, the quarantine off of school thing. We made that. I, I made a big jar of the taco seasoning. I made a big jar of, um, what was the other thing we made? Taco and something else. Ch chili mix, I think, to make chili. So my son and I did that. And so I have jars down there for that. So I'll bring that up. And then, um, so, and then she just garnished it with like some cheddar cheese and sour cream and then some Fritos. So I thought, well, that would be really good. And then I think I'm going to make a loaf of fresh bread just to go with it. Um, I have not had bread bread in a very long time. I stay away from bread. The The closest I get to bread is my two ingredient dough bagel. So I should have the points where my breakfast was five points. My lunch will be three. So I should have the points for a you know, a bowl of that taco soup and a slice or two of bread. I'm just going to do it because even if I don't have the points, I have weeklies and I never use my weeklies. So I should have started off with this. Today's weigh-in day. <laughs> so <clears throat> it did not go as well this week as it has been going. And I I'm, I don't know why. I really don't. Um, I look back through my menu and what I recorded I ate. I mean, there's many days I I. There was a lot of days I didn't eat all my points. There was a few days I ate every single one of my points. I didn't, I think I dipped in my weeklies one day, but it was like one or two. That was it. Um, so I don't, now previous weeks before I've, I would have like sometimes 10 or 11 dailies left. So I don't know if I need to go back to that. Maybe I, maybe I just ate too much with eating all my points, but I know they give you those points to eat them. So I don't know. I looked through everything like late last night. I was looking through it, just trying to figure out. I don't know. I drink my water. I drink at least, at the very minimum, 80 ounces a day. Sometimes I go up to 120, 150 because I drink. These these will fit with ice, 24 ounces. with Without ice, 32, but I always put ice in it. So I always get 24 ounces, and I will drink at least six to seven of these a day. I drink a lot of water. Yes, I'm going to the bathroom a lot, which in a way right now, without us having to run and do things, I am able to get more water in because when I would have to take my son to school or go pick him up, you know, that's, that's 20 minutes out there, 15 to 20 minutes to get there, 15, 20 minutes to come home. So you're looking at, you know, a lot of time. <laughs> and when I go pick him up, I go early. So I would never like drink very much during a day because you know, there's nowhere to go to the bathroom when you're sitting in a car line. And now there's no car line, but you're still not allowed to go into school. So, uh, so I don't, you know, I wouldn't, I, I wasn't drinking a lot before. I would drink in the morning, wouldn't drink much after lunch. And then when we got home, I would drink a lot in the evening. So, but now I'm drinking like all day long. So, I know I'm drinking. I know that's not a problem for me. Um, I the only thing I can think of is I had a lot of potatoes, not not an overabundance. I weigh I, now I don't weigh my baked potato, but I don't. I mean I don't have gigantic potatoes. So, but I have had more like baked potatoes since I got my baked potato bag, <laughs> and I had a lot. Uh, you know we had some shredded hash browns we've had some cubed hash browns and so um potatoes are a problem for me as well as bread and I've been able to stay away from the bread so I think I will try to watch the amount of potatoes I'm eating this next week and see if that doesn't change anything so oh my gosh stop saying so and so I looked into all of that I don't know but I am I I am up 1.4 pounds, which I know is not bad. And I'm I was really beating myself myself up about it from like Saturday till yesterday, or even this morning when I got on the scale. And then I just thought, you know what? 
I know I'm not going to lose every week, but I just feel, I know before, like on weeks I've gained, it's because I had something I shouldn't have. And it's not like I had a little piece of something I shouldn't have. I ate a huge piece of something I shouldn't have. So I understood my gain, but I'm a little baffled this time. And, and you know, I don't know. So we'll see. I'll just keep plugging away, keep doing my thing. And, you know, I mean, it's getting colder here. So we, we're not outside as much. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know. I got to quit thinking about it. <laughs> I keep telling myself that. So <clears throat> I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I think my breakfasts are good. Um, I do, I do have some different things on the menu for breakfast this week. I'm going to make some pancakes, I think tomorrow. So we'll see, but I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll point out that taco soup and I'll let you know that tonight. <clears throat> so I'm still down 30.6 pounds, I believe it is, but my weight is 300.2. So I'm back with the three in front. So that's got me ticked off. So it is what it is, I guess, right? Um, trying not to say so. I'm trying to concentrate on that and it's not working. But I'm going to go um, take my, I have some of my stuff to take downstairs to put on the shelf and add to my inventory. And I'll take my <clears throat> Dollar Tree crafts upstairs to my craft room. I do have a mask to make. Somebody texted me um, like late last night because I was in bed and um, I, I turn my, you know, my, the button on the side of your phone, I do turn that off and I leave it in the living room when I go to bed plugged in, but uh, my Fitbit will pick up <laughs> and I, I was like buzzing and I'm, I couldn't read it. I, I knew it was a message because it came in blue. It's not um, different colors means, you know, where it's coming from. So I knew it was like a private message and I, I thought, I don't know who would be private messaging me at like midnight or so. So I got it this morning. It was my friend. She wants a little mask for her daughter. So I'm, oh, I said it again. I am going to go up and make that mask and then let her know it's ready. And what else do I want to do today? I'm going to look into making a loaf of bread. I have a I have a recipe for Italian bread, but it makes like two or three, depending on size, it will make either two or three pretty big size loaves. And I don't want that. I just want to make one loaf. So I'm going to look into that <clears throat> and make myself a, a fresh bread to go with our soup tonight. That is all. I like to watch Home and Family on Hallmark. I don't like that it's two hours long. Sometimes I feel like they rush all their all their segments and that drives me crazy. But I do like to, I just like to watch it. I don't know why. <laughs> so I always have that on in the morning. But that's about it. There's nothing else on TV during the day. So usually I'll have that on and then it goes off and that's about it. So I will, I just said it. I will speak at you all probably at dinner time unless something fun happens, but I will see you at dinner and I'll let you know how good and how many points our soup is going to be. Have a good day. I think this is how as tall as my <laughs> tripod will get, but I'm making my taco soup. So I will show you it. It's one pound of the ground beef and it's the 93.7. I have one onion chopped up in there and a spoonful, just a teaspoonful of garlic. I use the garlic in the bottle for the fridge and just let this brown up. You're supposed to put two tablespoons of um, olive oil in first, but you know what? I don't because I save a couple points and I feel like the onions sweat and make um, make it wet on the bottom. The hamburger will make it wet. Nothing's going to stick or burn. So that's what I do. And then to that, I'll add, um, have some tomato paste that I used in a recipe the other day. So I have some left. So two 
heaping tablespoons of tomato paste, one heaping tablespoon of my taco seasoning that my son and I made up um, during the major quarantine, um, one can of black beans, she put the whole thing in, juice and all, one can of, she uses fire roasted corn, I only have regular corn, juice and all, and one can of roto, juice and all, <laughs> and then two cups of, she did vegetable broth, I'm doing beef broth, I have a couple cubes in there dissolving, and that's it. Then you just cook it for a little bit and it'll be ready to serve. I have some light sour cream to go on the top. I have, I got the mixed cheddar cheese blend. I think there's, I don't know, maybe mozzarella and cheddar cheese. I just got the blend. Um, and it's full fat, no reduced fat, no fat free. I think a quarter of a cup of it was two or three points. I put it all in my tracker already. And then 15 Fritos, I think is two or three points. Now, I'll have to see what my servings will end up being. Six servings would give you four points. Four servings would give you, make you six points. So I will see when I'm done. I'll have to, you know, um, I don't, I tried weighing stuff before. And when I do stuff in my Instapot and try and weigh it, it's too heavy. So I will go buy cups and stuff and see what, um, what portion sizes I'll get and then determine there. So it's either going to be six or four points and then plus your toppings. So, um, but I did put the recipe in already. So then I'll determine if I take six or four points. So that's it. It's that easy. I'll show you when it's done. And, um, it's a pioneer woman recipe. She just made it Friday or Friday. She made it Saturday. So if I can figure out how to link it, I will. If not, I might just type in the recipe for you. Um, I'm trying to think, let me look at the recipe because I didn't use the olive oil. I did one onion, three cloves of garlic. I only used one pound of ground beef. I salt and peppered and then my tomato paste, taco seasoning, black beans, fire roasted corn, uh, rotel and vegetable or beef stock. So that's it. And um, so I'll show you it when it's all done because it's already smelling pretty good. So I'll be back. Okay, everything is in the pot. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It smells and it looks very good. I think you can see that. Um, everything's in. So I am now going to just cook this on low for a few hours or, oh, let's see. Answer that. I don't want pressure. So I'm just gonna let it cook on low, oops. <laughs> let it cook on low for a little bit. It's 2.30 now, so it'll cook for a couple hours low. And um, over here, I decided, I wanted to make some bread or something to go with it, so I made I'm making bread sticks. So um, I made that dough earlier, let it rise, let it rise again, and now it's rising again. And I'll bake those up. I'm gonna put everything but the bagel seasoning on top. And then that'll be dinner. And I think uh, I have to put this recipe in to see how much I thought I, thought I did, I my mind. <laughs> so I'll put this recipe in for the bread sticks and I'll let you know how much those are. So that is it, my friends. I will see you when I show you my dish tonight, my soup. And it's just under half full. Oh, well, that's way too close. It's just under half full in the Instant Pot. So I will figure out how many cups that is and then portion it from there. So I'll let you know tonight for sure how much all of this is. Okay, talk to you later. Here is our taco soup with our cheese, sour cream, 15 Fritos, um, breadstick, there's the breadsticks there. And we will get six servings out of this, so it'll only be four points. Good evening, everyone. Okay, that taco soup was so good. 
Um, my boys loved it. Sorry, I just need to move that away a little too close. I loved it. Um, <clears throat> so it was three quarts, and which is 12 cups. And so I took two, so it would be six servings, two cups a person. So I had two cups and it was four points. So then we had, we put the Fritos on, the sour cream and some uh, shredded cheese. It was so delicious. I was so glad I made it. I, my son's like, add that to the pile. So I was just outside. It's really windy here and it's gonna be really windy here tomorrow. So I was taking down some of my, like my big flag I take down cause it'll just be so loud when it's so windy. So I took that down and checked all my plants for watering and my mom's anyway. And my thumbnail is an Easter lily that I have gar gardening, that I have growing in my one garden by my pond. And it's blooming right now, which is very odd. So I thought I would take a picture of it and share it with you. So that was it. I went over points by two. So I used 25 of my 23 points. So I went into my weekly today, which is fine. They start over today. I don't usually get into my weeklies, but um, I did. And I might just have that soup for lunch tomorrow because I have some leftover. It was it was so good so simple you'll see me making it so i hope you enjoyed this video and i feel i had a good day of eating i'm very full from that soup and my little breadsticks i made those came out to three points a piece so i had two of those and that's about it so have a good night oh i know what we're gonna go do uh pretty sure oh my gosh i cannot talk tonight Pretty soon, I should be getting a notification that the ISS <clears throat> will be coming through. That's the International Space Station. It's visible. To, it's visible a lot in our area, so we try to go out and check it out. And then we're supposed to see Mars tonight, so we're, we have a telescope, so we're going to go out and see if we can find Mars and see the ISS go by. So that should be happening in about an hour, I think. That is our plan. And then I'm going to shower and watch some baseball tonight, maybe get some knitting done. My husband's going to bring our our modem and router box up. It's in the basement and all the guys that came from Spectrum said, you should put that on the main floor, it'd be so much better. Now we've always had it down there, even when we had Verizon, we never had trouble. So my husband's like, I'll bring it up here, but that's not gonna solve anything, which it won't because it keeps cutting out. It's it's not the Wi-Fi that we can't get, it just stops. Anyway, he's gonna do that. He's gonna punch a hole in the wall to bring it up and then it's gonna sit in our hallway. We will see how that works. So have a good night, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey.